Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Amidst legal restrictions, is Drew Wanty Davis hinting at his next opponent? There is a rampaging tank searching for a new fighter. And uh, from what it appears, it has a target in the decorous hairs. It uh, didn't take much to hit the first parting shot. Professionally, the year had been fantastic for Gervonta Davis. After a successful title defense in January, the Baltimorean boxer scored one of the most decisive victories of recent times against Ryan Garcia in April. However, it is on the personal statistics that he has had to suffer a few setbacks. On July 14th, Davies came out of jail after serving 44 days of the 90-day house arrest sentence he received for the 2020 road accident case. Amid streams of talks on matchups, he has yet to make a return to the ring. However, that has not prevented the Southpaw from taking now and uh, then digs. For intense, he went after Renault and train Robert Garcia and his charge, Raymond Muratala, who recently scored in a cow victory over Diego Torres Nunes. But for reasons still not clear, the latest developments came when the world champion shared his apprehensions over how a few legal restrictions could impact training. Soon after Muratala became the North American Boxing Federation lightweight champion, as well as the WBR Global lightweight champion, Robert Garcia took to his uh, account and said how everyone has started not to sing what he and his team have been witnessing for some time in the gym. Raymond Muratello is now ready for anyone in the lightweight division. 16 of Muratello's 19 victories came through knockouts. No wonder Tanger has emerged as one of the foremost prospects in the lightweight division to reckon with. Fight Hype uploaded the short clip today, which showed screenshots of Robert Garcia's tweets. But it was followed with by a response from Gervonta Davis as well. The WBA lightweight champion wrote, On my mama, that it uh, shit fighter. Could the shade throwing be inferred as an attempt to gradually make a move for the next matchup? Gervonta Davis between rumors and reality. It should be noted that side the Garcia fight followed by the child term. Tank's name has come up against the likes of Terence Crawford, unified lightweight champion David Haney and Shakur Stevenson. However, bearing the update on the Isaac Cruz rematch, most of those appear as passing talks only. Davies recently shared clips of him getting back in the gym and training with fans. But from what it seems and given the time left in the year, in all likelihood, a return from one of the phases of boxing could be expected by the early month of next year only. Fans will have to wait until such time to see their icon back in the ring. If Gervonta Davis makes an early 2024 return, then which 135 pound prospect would you prefer to line up against him? Please share your youth with us in the comments below. Gervonta Davis vs. Teofimi Lopez at 140 pounds next. Their teams tease the mega event. In the wake of Gervonta Davis getting released from jail, Sean Gibbons, the head of MP Promotions, declared the chance of a rematch between Tank and Isaac Cross. As per him, sides of the fans in Mexico and the US showed a massive interest in a Cross vs. Davis second. It was ideal that the fight took place. In this context, Gibbons even trumpeted that BBC will deliver Cross vs. Tank second in the shape of a huge post-Christmas gift. Following Gibbons' statements, Yes, News recently spoke to the managers of Teofimo Lopez and Gervonta Davies. By the way, they suggested a potential title fight between two boxers. At this, both Team Davies and Team Lopez applauded the idea of Tank vs. the takeover. On being asked what they thought about Teofimo Lopez vs. Gervonta Davies at 140 pounds for the title, David McWater, manager of Lopez, claimed it was a wonderful idea. Similarly, Calvin Ford, Gervonta Davis' trainer, said, Wonderful. At this, Kenny Alice, yet another coach of Davis, added, We've got unfished business at 135. Then we go to 140. However, Ford interrupted and stated, 
No, it's not unfinished. We finished at 135. Along these lines, he announced that he liked the fight Lopez vs. Davis. Following the statement by Ford, McWater announced that since Lopez only wants the biggest fight, it's likely that the takeover will fight Tank one day. Yeah, it will happen someday because the theme Lopez only wants the biggest and it seems so does Tank, McWater said. However, in this context, it is worth mentioning that Lopez, who reportedly trained for Tank, thought Davis would now fire him. Lopez called Davis scary. After TFM Lopez, following his victory over George Taylor, announced that his short lived retirement, Max Kellerman wondered if there was a figure that could recognize Lopez's spirit. At this, Kellerman also suggested the name of Davis. While Lopez thought Tank a good fight, he called the later Scarred. Tank Davis? Yeah, but he is so scared. Declared the takeover. Well, given Ford and the McWater's recent statements, fans can hope for a potential Lopez vs. Davis fight. Undoubtedly, it will be one of the biggest events should the fight happen. Anyway, would you like to see the fight? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.